sell. Load this up and see what the heck is going on. And combustion misfire cylinder six. So just took the spark plug out and yeah, the like my valve cover is definitely leaking. So I have to replace that and new spark plugs. So I got some old set that I'm gonna go throw in there and see how they work. And if it goes away, then I know exactly. I just need to get some new spark plugs. Might as well get some coil packs also. So let's see. If y'all can see the smoke. Seems like it's coming down from over here. So cool down a little bit, so I took off the turbo blanket. So yeah, still a little hot, but still. Uh, I noticed like there was some oil like leaking onto the like the oil drain area. So I'm most likely gonna have to look into that. And yeah, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, not today, but most likely tomorrow, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the turbo, uh, drop the lines, all that. Um, yeah, so that's my money pit right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna work on this tomorrow and hopefully the cost doesn't go as high as I assume in my head right now. So the clamp, as you can see, the grid lines from where the clamp was, it like it ate into the side. So it like chafed against it and like ripped the back. So I'm gonna have to replace this whole line and I might look into something to change and see what kind of um, clamp to use. So yeah, that's that. So I just gotta go ahead and jack it up some and take off the other piece that's connected to the block. New day, I wasn't able to jack my car up yesterday because I forgot I lent out my jack. So today I'm about to go jack it up now so I can take off the other part of the line. So one thing most people ask me is like, how the heck do you jack up your car when it's this low? So right now I'm just gonna go through how I do it. So what I do is I just get my jack and it's a low profile. So it's just enough clearance for me to get to the jack point. Once I have it up in the air, I jack it up enough to be able to set the wheel down on this wooden block. So once I have it on that wooden block, then I just come to the front and get it from the jack point right there and I can jack up the whole front in one, one big swoop. So the car's in the air now and I have the jack left in the middle to give some extra support. And yeah, it took me like eight minutes or so, but it's a lot of running back and forth. So I gotta go invest in like a quick jack or something like that. Or even better yet, a lift, so. But anyways, if you only have jack and jack stands, this is how pretty much I get my car up in the air when it's low. So I have my socket on the drain bolt. It's that silver thing that's on right there. So normally you'd have to move like the power steering out the way a little bit. But what I did was I just put the socket on there and ran an extension to a U joint, no, a wobble socket, down to another one, and then down to this. And that's the way I can access it without having to move the power steering um, rack. Cause I'm definitely wasn't gonna move that out the way cause a pain in the butt to move, so yeah. And there we go, bolts out, and that's the configuration I have it in. I think this part you really don't need, you could have like two of these the same size, and yeah, it'll work still. So all I gotta do now is just pull up and we have our drain bolt out. We'll finagle it a little bit. There we go. 
on three. So the rest of the holes looks pretty good. No clear damage or anything. It's just right here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and go ahead and get this replaced. So new hose is on and I'm about to go put it on and pretty much test the fit right now. But so far fits pretty snugly up and yeah, it's gonna go ahead and start putting this on now. So I have everything installed back right now and cars back on the ground. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go see about do a little test drive and see if this is working as it should. So fingers crossed. So just came back from a quick test drive around my block real quick and booster still is holding. Uh, I don't see any smoke and no leaking, the line didn't rupture. So I'm pretty stoked about that, but only time will tell. So I'm just gonna continue monitoring it, but I need to go upgrade to like some steel braided connections. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. And the next video is pretty much gonna be me fixing another issue that uh, I was encountering. So yeah, stay tuned.